Hi, Dan Healy with Game of the Week, and maybe it's only fitting that a few days ago it was National Talk Like a Pirate Day that we're coming to you this week from Bob People Stadium, home of the Caravel Buccaneers, and R, we got a good matchup for you this week when Caravel takes on the Penn Cater Titans. R. Now, color me crazy. But I didn't think it'd take too long to find a Carvel ice cream cake here at Carvel Academy. Caravel, not Carvel. Caravel Academy. Caravel Academy with fine Caravel ice cream. Brandon Cheaton, I think everyone knows about Brandon. Brandon's a special kind of player. He just, you know, in all facets of the game, he can change the game on defense, on offense, on special teams. So, you know, he's the one that I think most teams are always looking out for. How's the season going so far? It's going pretty good. Um, start off this uh, season bad, but he bounced back pretty strong. You looking forward to your home opener? What's to be expected this weekend? Looking for a shutout, hopefully. But we'll see. Whatever happens, happens. We really don't rely on a star. You know, even Brandon only had 60 yards last week rushing, but he had a, a huge impact on the game. We're, uh, we're a pretty diverse team. You know, we do a lot of things, and, and that's what we count on. We count on the team effort more than the individual effort. In what my cameraman Will and I have dubbed Ice Cream Bowl 09, this Penn Cater Caravel game could be more than just winners and losers. It could take the cake. Hey, me. Pump it up, C A. It's a smile to my plundering soul to see such little buccaneers out there chaining so hard. <laughs> Arc. And the number one Titans are boasting a double scoop of trouble on offense with twin brothers Brandon and Brian Norman coming at you. These kids are hot. Watch out now. What are you looking forward to uh, as a team for the rest of the season? We just gotta work hard and and um, stick together. Like we gotta keep our heads up because we're gonna face a, some hard opponents. So we gotta um, step up to the challenge as a team and do what we gotta do. This is our first year playing together on a varsity level, and uh, it's pretty good. You know, getting used to it. He knows where I'm gonna be all the time. It's like yeah. it's like a Peyton Manning to Marvin Harrison out here. Yeah. Exactly what it's like. It's like Peyton Manning and Marvin Harrison. That's truly the strength of our team, our, our uh, maturity, and our, and our seniors. And uh, I know you talked to, to Brandon and Brian Norman, who are both exceptionally talented, uh, skilled guys. And you know we're going to try to ride them in, in our big offensive line as far as they'll take us. The Buccaneers better be watching out because Penn Cater be number one, and not the same kind of number one Packers fans thought Ocho Cinco was Sunday. That's another finger, but number one all the same. Yar. One, two, three, four. I love Caravel Academy. It's delicious. Well, anyway, this weekend, number one Penn Cater coming against the Feisty Buccaneers. Could be anyone's game. Watch out, boys. Have a good time. If you need me, I'll be up here. And hey, somebody get me a cookie puss. <laughs>